Hello and uh, welcome to an update from Three Feet Rule. So this afternoon what I thought I would do is uh, have a look at my progress so far with my uh, epic Waterloo set. So uh, uh, I'm quite impressed when it uh, is all put out on the table what I've achieved uh, so far since Christmas. So I've uh, had a bit of a painting splurge which I haven't done for a while. So let's have a look at uh, uh, the progress. So over here I've got the start of the uh, first division from first court i've got the imperial guard uh, grenadiers uh, chasseurs marines engineers and uh, middle guard we'll sort of do a, a close-up in a second i've got some light french artillery i've got some hussars which i believe is sixth hussars and i've got some line lances here um, that are all uh, painted with the pink faints, pink faces and I think that's the seventh I think mm, maybe but I can always confirm that in a bit late, bit later on so that's what I've done so far and um, I sort of thought to myself that I would uh, start to uh, to paint some of first course so if we zoom in like so so that's my brigade commander uh, on his uh, it's horse. I sort of went with with round bases in the end. So that's the brigade commander with two voltiers uh, skirmishing on the base. Uh, I've then got two units of voltiers, which one for each uh, battalion. And then we have the 1st Battalion with the tricolour uh, flag. So I can just bring them up to the... So that's the 1st Battalion, which I'm quite pleased with. So that's them. And then I've got the 2nd Battalion, and I've used the Fanion uh, that you get from the Warlord Games uh, flag sheet and all I've done is I've just cut off the eagle because as far as I'm aware the um, the second battalion uh, didn't have an eagle so I've just literally um, added the white Fanion which without the lettering and the numbering on it does remind me of sort of like a, a surrender flag uh, which is not ideal but uh, you know the second second battalion had the white Fanion so that's uh, that's good. So that's that. So that's the first. That's the first two, first two battalions. Um, I've also got some other voltiers uh, in the back, and um, I've currently got the second battalion, first battalion, and second battalion um, uh, of the. I can't remember the actual um, uh, regiments now, but uh, they're uh, about to be finished off, and they can then join. Uh, the first division of first corps um, or first corps. I have got uh, de Erlon, and my pronunciation is hopeless, so forgive me for that. Uh, but I've got uh, the the um, first corps uh, brigade commander or overall uh, commander, which is de Erlon, and I've got him on the uh, Warlord Games resin, and he's on the painting table, ready to go. And I'm on. A, I've got him on a forty uh, millimeter base, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the uh, commanders from the infantry set uh, alongside him and uh, probably put a, a voltier on the uh, base also. So it'll be uh, Dierlon, brigade commander. Then we've got the individual colonel that uh, is in charge of the two battalions. There'll be another colonel uh, in behind and then the two battalions. And that'll be the first division. Uh, I'm aiming to do... Well, I might I might do the whole of first corps, um, to be honest, at this scale. I wouldn't do it uh, with twenty eight mil because it would just be too expensive, and the, the the room it would take up would just be too much. So that's my plan: is to do it, uh, uh, is to do the second division, third division, uh, and the fourth division. So that that's where I'd I'd like to take this. Then I sort of swing to the middle, and we have the old guard themselves, uh, Napoleon's finest. 
and um, so that's the the grenadier unit and um, I've given uh, this unit the um, grenadier flag and I believe at Waterloo that there were two battalions uh, of the first regiment so that's the first battalion I've got enough Imperial Guard oh goodness me stop calling me an Imperial Guard I've got enough old guard to make a the second battalion uh, of the first regiment of the grenadiers but I'm unsure what to use for a flag. Now I could use because the second battalion. I don't want to use a uh, white fanion because I think for the grenadiers, I think it would need to look just that little bit more special. So I could use just the other flags that you get from the the set and use that flag there and uh, just put it on there. But um, if anybody has any suggestions, I know. Uh, on Facebook I posted the other day and Leon kindly gave some advice and uh, thanks to the other guys as well that, that posted so um, I want to do the the uh, uh, first battalion second battalion of the uh, first regiment the second regiment uh, I want to do the first battalion and second battalion so I would need to have uh, the flags for that as well uh, we then go over to the first battalion or the uh, the chasseurs I noticed that I did manage to get a little bit of gold on one of the hats there so I need to uh, just uh, cover that off but um, so I've got the chasseurs so I know there's two battalions uh, with the chasseurs so again I've got enough guard I think to make another battalion so that would be good um, so again it's, it's knowing what flags to um, to put with it in the middle I have the marines which I've I've shown off previously on a different video, uh, but um, I've got another another stand of those. So I'm going to go for four, uh, sorry, two for four ranks of the Marines. But I'm quite happy if I'm in, if I'm in all honesty to only have the two bases or the one base because I don't know how many Marines uh, were at Waterloo, but I'm sure it wasn't um, hundreds and hundreds of men. And uh, I did paint a second rank. Of the engineers again I was going to stick with with, with, with one rank but um, in the end uh, I did go for two so there there on there uh, and again in the comments if you think I should have only one stand of, uh, of engineers then uh, I shall have one stand of engineers and uh, the other will uh, make its way to eBay I'm sure if um, if that's the case and anybody wants the additional Marines uh, or uh, engineers then uh, just leave a comment and I'm sure we can come to some arrangement uh, and finally we have the middle guard and uh, what I've done for those I've used uh, ordinary line infantry but giving it giving them the the middle guard flag now apparently the third and fourth uh, regiments at, uh, at Waterloo of Grenadiers were uh, middle guard and for my middle guard I've just given them shakos rather than the bear skins so uh, again be it right or wrong I don't know and then finally I've got the artillery or the light uh, horse artillery which is where it was which is where my uh, epic journey started I just fancied doing I'd seen a lot of the videos on um, on YouTube and just fancied it so I bought the um, the um, the um, French starter set, and this is what I started with. So they these have been on before, so I'll just quickly show them off. And these are the guys that that weren't actually at Waterloo, so uh, they were in the reserve. So that's not worked out that well, but uh, um, at three feet away, nobody should mind. And these are also these are the uh, line lancers. Uh, which uh, gave our Scots Greys uh, a few issues uh, when we overreached ourselves uh, on the at famous charge. So uh, these, uh, again, I quite enjoy painting these. So I went for four stands with five guys on for that. Um, I, I've seen that uh, some of you are doing different different size um, size stands, but that's. Uh, where I am so far so we'll, we'll pull out um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing your comments uh, any advice on uniforms painting etc please please do drop a comment 
Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, like. And um, I've been watching uh, uh, a lot of your videos and commenting because um, I'm I've now finished college and uh, or uni, I should say, and I've got time to uh, to get back into the hobby. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to show you what some of the projects I, I did last year uh, because I wasn't really uh, uh, creating any content on YouTube. But what I was doing was um, painting and doing bits and pieces in the background. So that is my epic force so far. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon. So bye for now.